New at six, another formal complaint filed today against Henry Davis Jr. This is the second in a week. Now, the 11th this year as well. Taxpayers are once again upset about something the Common Councilman posted online. And Kelly Stopsinski is looking into this for us. And Kelly, he retweeted something about abortion. It's upsetting a lot of people, and it's political. He actually did this just two days after the council president decided not to punish Davis Jr. for a January Facebook post of a naked man and a dog. Now the process to see whether the council will discipline him for this starts all over again. I, as an employee, couldn't get away with six months of having this kind of negative publicity for my job, and I don't think our elected officials should either. Rhonda Richards is fed up with Henry Davis Jr.'s behavior on social media, like this June 25th retweet about abortion. He's, he's not going to any value on life at all. It was just too over the top to let it slide. So she filed this complaint with the city clerk last week, asking the council to hold Davis Jr. accountable. Today, someone else filed another one, calling the tweet obnoxious and obscene, saying had he at least received a reprimand for the first occurrence, this offense could have been cobbled to it. I think the people of South Bend have had enough, but apparently Val Shea and Oliver Davis haven't. And so at some point, we have to hold them responsible too, because when they just swept away the original situation. Um, they said it doesn't matter what a council person says or does. Becky Kaiser filed a police report against Henry Davis Jr. earlier this year after he posted a picture on Facebook so disturbing to some it's never been published in local media. So much of this is, is blurred lines where, you know, our private and public life come out. A special prosecutor and council president Oliver Davis cleared Davis Jr. of any wrongdoing in that incident. Councilman Tim Scott won't talk about the Davis Jr. controversy, but he recently drafted 25 social media guidelines he thinks all council members should follow. A lot of it's common sense. It is so far past common sense at this point that you have to take a good long look at Henry and his allies and say, what are you thinking? The St. Joseph County Democratic Party is also asking the Common Council to settle this latest issue quickly and professionally. Party Chair Jason Critchlow even apologized to anyone who may have been offended by the post. I spoke very briefly with Davis Jr. today on the phone. He told me he is not interested in talking about it. Okay, he's not interested in talking about it, but no. a lot of people are. And this latest complaint, that's going to go, what, to the Rules Committee? That's right. I left messages today for Val Shea, Dave Varner, and Fred Furlick. They are the three members along with Pre Council President Oliver. Davis of that committee. I'm still waiting to hear back, also waiting to hear back from Council President Oliver Davis to see just how he plans to handle this and all the latest complaints. Going back just a minute to what you were talking about a minute ago with the social media policy, mm -hmm. though, I mean, in the plans for, th for that, a lot of businesses have a policy in place. What's the thought on that? Because, I mean, it seems like they're a little behind the times on that. A lot of businesses have that. We have one here. Right, exactly. And, you know, uh, Tim Scott told me that he wants to kind of get in line with the times. They got iPads about a year ago. They've all been using them. And he said this has been in the works for a couple months. They just want to make sure everyone's on the same page. This is what you should do. This is what you shouldn't do. Also, they're going to talk about should there be any kind of punishment if you do something against those guidelines. So that should be going to the council hopefully in the next few weeks. Yeah. Kelly, thanks. Uh -huh. All right. Well, we.